Oh, hey, what's up, cereal heads? I was just about to eat this banana because today we're going to talk about banana flavored cereals. Now, this is usually the part where I say, first, let's talk about the history of the banana. Then I proceed to tell you how they were first domesticated in Southeast Asia and how there used to be many different kinds of bananas here in the U.S. instead of just this Cavendish variety, but I got a lot of cereals to get to and I don't want to get swamped down with those details. So if you're interested in learning more about the banana, I'd recommend the banana episode of this awesome and informative podcast called Part-Time Genius. I'll leave a link for that episode down in the description so you can check it out if you want. It'll definitely fulfill your banana needs. But right now we're here to talk about banana flavored cereals. Now I'm sure I'm going to forget and miss some banana cereals along the way and people will let me know about it in the comments, but for now let's start back in 1965 with Wacky Cereal. Wacky's was released by General Mills and it was basically like a banana flavored Lucky Charms. It had wacky oat shaped pieces and wacky yellow marbots. Now there are lots of ads for this cereal on YouTube, but here's one commercial from back in the day. What's wackier than a rabbit punch? Is it canoeing with your pet gorilla? Uh -uh. It's eating banana wackies! Banana wackies! Wow! The whack, whack, wackiest cereal! Ooh. From General Mills, made from oats and banana flavored bits, in the whack, whack, wackiest shape, banana bingo! Banana jangles! Oak loop! Oak clots! And lots more wacky shapes! It's the new oat cereal with banana flavored the lips smackiest. Wacky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A new Big G General Mills cereal. It's the whack, whack, wackiest. Now I'm going to dedicate an entire video to wackies in the future, so let's move on to another banana flavored cereal from the 60s. Mr. Waffles. Mr. Waffles was released by Ralston around 1966. It was kind of like a Czech cereal, and Mr. Waffles' claim to fame, or his tagline, was about how unsinkable the cereal was. Now, original Mr. Waffles was just the plain, boring, Czechs-like cereal, but they also introduced the banana-flavored version, as you can see at the end of this old-school fun ad. It's the unsinkable cereal! Because it's unsinkable. So Harold Evil Chap was... Fired again. By the unsinkable cereal from Checkerboard Square, Mr. Waffles. Now in a new banana flavor, too. All right, let's jump to the 80s for the next banana-flavored cereal, and that's Banana Frosted Flakes from Kellogg's. This stuff came out around 1981, and as you can see, it still featured Tony on the box. It was just like original Frosted Flakes, but the flakes were peppered with real banana bits. You can see they have Tony in a straw hat here, and for the ad campaign, they took an island or Caribbean flair and had Tony stepping off a banana boat and dancing along with other kids who also were wearing straw hats. The banana boat's here! Loaded with new banana frosted flakes. Shaved by the bananas to his frosted flakes. Ooh. And you should taste the what a difference it makes. Ooh. Whoa! Kellogg's put real banana bits on my sugar frosted flakes. They're good. Yeah, Tony, they are great. I knew they'd have a feel. <laughs> it's Kellogg's banana. New banana. <laughs> Part of this nutritious breakfast. I have vague memories of this cereal from the early 80s, but it didn't last too long, which is a shame because this is a version of Frosted Flakes I really wish they'd bring back. Okay, now let's go to the 90s where we have Banana Nut Crunch cereal from Post. This cereal was marketed as tasting like a fresh loaf of banana nut bread straight from the oven. A version of this stuff still exists today under the umbrella of Great Grain cereals from Post. It's not quite as good as this cereal was back in 1994 when it was first released by Post, but maybe you can satisfy your banana cereal craving. I'm gonna dedicate another entire video to this cereal, so let's move on. There have been other classic cereals with banana varieties, including Honey Bunches of Oats with banana and cornflakes with bananas. And then of course there's also the popular combination of pairing bananas with strawberries. There have been a handful of cereals with this flavor combination including Urkel O's here from the early 90s. This was a strawberry banana flavored cereal with red and yellow fruit loops. I did a whole cereal time video about Urkel O's that you can check out. There's also been a banana berry fruit harvest cereal as well as a strawberry banana berry burst version of Cheerios. And last year General Mills released their Minion cereal which came in a berry banana flavor and had these little Minion squares. This stuff was way superior superior to Kellogg's Despicable Me cereal. There have also been a handful of banana cereals from outside of the US. One of my favorites was this Banana Bugs and Mud cereal from Hubbard's, a New Zealand company. I did one of my first cereal time videos about this stuff. It had a great banana and chocolate flavor and these little cereal pieces that looked like real bugs. This cereal was awesome. You can check out that cereal time video if you want to know more about it. And in the 90s, Kellogg's released a UK cereal called Banana Bubbles. Kellogg's new banana bubbles! 
I'm bummed I never got to try that cereal, but fortunately for us, there are a few banana cereals out there right now that we can try. First up, there's Banana Nut Cheerios. These first came out in 2009, I believe, and then were later discontinued. General Mills re-released them this year, but as you can see from the box, they're limited edition, so I don't know how long they'll be on shelves. But let's take a look. So here's what a bowl of Banana Nut Cheerios look like. You can see they're pretty hard to distinguish from regular Cheerios. There's a slight golden hue to them, but they definitely have a great banana smell. Mmm, I miss this version of Cheerios. These Banana Nut Cheerios have a light banana and cinnamon flavor to them. It's like the perfect balance of those two flavors and it doesn't reek of artificial banana flavoring like so many other products do. The ingredients for this Cheerios list banana puree, so that's where the good flavor comes from. A bowl of this stuff topped with some fresh bananas, Mmm, now that's a delicious way to start your morning. As for current US cereals with banana flavor, well, Banana Nut Cheerios is about the only option right now, but let's not limit ourselves to the American borders. Over in Canada, they have banana bread flavored shreddies. I'm gonna talk more about shreddy cereal in another video, but they're basically like a version of Chex. So this banana flavored version of shreddies is probably really similar to that Mr. Waffles banana flavored cereal that we talked about earlier. Let's open up this banana bread flavored shreddies and give them a try. Now this one definitely has that artificial banana smell to it. It's not flavored with real bananas, you can tell. So here's what a bowl of these banana bread shreddies look like. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference between these and regular shreddies if it wasn't for that artificial banana smell. Hmm, it's not bad. If you like that artificial banana flavor that comes in like banana candies, which I do, then you'll probably like this stuff. It's not too sweet, it's got a bit of a strange aftertaste, but overall I like it. Although I do think I'd probably go for a bowl of regular shreddies with just some fresh bananas on them instead. Okay, so we got two more foreign banana flavored cereals, both inspired by Minions who love bananas. First is from the UK and it's this Weetabix Crispy Minis banana flavored cereal. You can see they got the Minion on the front here and they have a Minion on the back of the box and the Despicable Me 3 logo up there. Now again, I'm gonna do a separate video about Weetabix cereal, so I'm not gonna get too in depth about it here. This is like a crispy mini versions of the classic Weetabix cereal. And from the ingredients, it looks like they just added banana chips to it. But let's open it up and take a look. So here's what these Weetabix crispy minis look like. You can see even for minis, these pieces are pretty big. And it looks like there's a few little banana pieces mixed into the cereal. Let's hit them with some milk and give it a try. It's not bad. These pieces are way too big for me. You definitely would need to crush them up to make them more manageable. And I gotta say, that banana flavor is really, really faint. I think this basically comes down to how much you like Weetabix cereal. I like it, it's not one of my favorites. The addition of the banana chips is good, but again, it doesn't give a really strong banana flavor. So I don't really miss not having this version of Weetabix here on shelves in the US. Okay, the second Despicable Me 3 Minions inspired cereal comes all the way from Australia. I got this from an Instagram friend online. Ruth was nice enough to send me this box all the way from down under. Now we have a Kellogg's Despicable Me 3 cereal here in the US, which I already talked about. That cereal was super lame. This one from Australia is supposedly a banana smoothie flavor, and the pieces look like actual bananas. Or kinda like cashews, actually. But let's open it up and take a look. So here's what a bowl of Kellogg's Despicable Me 3 cereal from Australia looks like. You can see the pieces do kind of look like mini bananas. I appreciate that. I feel like we haven't really had a banana shaped cereal here in the US. Except maybe for Donkey Kong Jr. cereal back in the day. But that cereal kind of had like a fruity flavor to it and not really a strong banana flavor. Let's hit him with some milk and give it a try. Mmm, it's not bad. I like the texture of this stuff. It's an oat and rice based cereal because they probably don't have corn subsidies over there in Australia like we do here in the US. It's not really a smoothie flavor, whatever that actually is, but it does have a nice banana flavor to it. Definitely better than our Despicable Me 3 cereal here in the US. All right, well, that's all the banana flavored cereals I got time for. Right now, if you're feeding for some banana flavored cereal, I definitely recommend Banana Nut Cheerios. But if you can't get those, well, at the end of the day, most cereals go great with some freshly sliced bananas on top. It's one of my favorite fruits, and I hope cereal companies continue experimenting with banana flavored cereals. Any banana versions of cereals you'd like to see? Maybe we'll get a banana bread toast crunch at some point. That would be delicious. Okay, well, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. How do you peel your bananas? From the top or from the bottom?